guys, and welcome back to another CAFCast. Today we're doing the May 2014 Loot Crate Unboxing. Here she is. Just going to undo the seal here. Now this uh, themed box is, I believe, Adventure. And I'm pretty sure there's something exclusive from Adventure Time and something from Legend of Zelda as well. Possibly some Minecraft stuff, I'm not sure, uh, but we'll give it a go and just see how we get on. Oh wow, okay, so there's some interesting stuff. There is a shirt, which I can see straight away, which is awesome. I guess we'll do that first. We've got another shirt, that's always a good thing. Okay, wow, okay, so this is done by Rock Me. Not quite sure about the company, but the graphic is awesome. Look at that, guys. Power, trials, a courageous soul. Ah, oh, that is that is ridiculously cool. That's they've done a really good job there. That's lovely. We'll put that to the side, or to the rather, over to the back there, so you guys can still hopefully see that a little bit. We'll move the camera up a little bit because we can. There we go. That's looking really cool. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah, that's a great shirt to start off with. Um, and the price of this box is like $20, $30, $30. I'm not sure. I'll put all the information in the uh, description for you. But, <laughs> I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the like as long as the shirt is good, then you've, it's pretty much paid for the box itself already. But there's loads more stuff to go. Uh, so let's get stuck in. We've got a... It looks like an Adventure Time tin. One figure inside. Let's have a look at that. One figure inside. Collect all 12. Now, I'm not the biggest uh, fan of Adventure Time in the world, but I will still open this up and have a look and see what's inside. You can never have uh, too many tins. And let's face it, I could do with a pencil case or a pencil holder for the desk anyway. Uh, I think that's the Lake Vampire Lady. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure. Anybody want to let me know in the description if they know anything about those guys? It's got like a guitar on the back, actually, like a battle axe, which is quite cool. <laughs> uh, and it looks like it comes with some kind of mysterious black bag, which is always good. Let's have a little look inside here. See if we can get in to the black bin liner of death. Uh, right. Well. Okay. It's bubble wrap. <laughs> Oh, it's got the character there. Oh my god, that is a stinky, stinky. Oh, that's a shame. So there's the character itself. It's pretty cool, but uh, the arm has fallen off. Oh, oh no. Oh dear. Oh well, never mind. It's not the end of the world. But uh, <laughs> there you go. So that's. If anybody can let me know who that is, then that would be awesome. Uh, but the tin's pretty cool still. We can just sort of pop the little bits and pieces inside there. She can live in there. And put that back on top there. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so one broken item. And to be fair, that's the very first item that I've had that's ever been broken from Loot Crate. If you've been watching my past Loot Crate openings, uh, that's it. That's the very first one. Uh, Minecraft hangers. One hanger per pack. Um, there's a few different ones that you can get. I think it's just a keyring. Uh, Steve? Question mark. Steve? Steve? Is that is that you, Steve? Skeleton, creeper, zombie pigman, zombie, cow, sheep, pig, sword, and pickaxe. And uh, it's done by Jinx. Now, Jinx do do pretty high quality stuff, so uh, we'll give it a go. Have a look at what we've got. What do I want? I want the creeper, because I like creepers. Oh, uh, I didn't get the creeper. <laughs> but I did get a pick. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Look at that. I guess I've found my new key ring, and it's got like a weird sort of like uh, clippy plastic key ring bit, which I'll definitely be taking off and just using this one instead. Uh, that can go on my key ring along with my USB stick as well, which I use to open boxes, strangely enough. Uh, but that is, then that's cool. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. The the, the plastic key ring bit can can go, but the uh, the actual key ring itself is quite cool, uh, and it seems to be reasonably well made. That's just like a sort of a hard plastic, whereas this is like a crummy sort of soft plastic. But never mind, that's fine. So we'll carry on. We always get a badge every week since the Space Loot Crate in... Oh, God, that must have been January or February. One of the two. Uh, and there it is. I think it was actually January. 
May 2014, adventure, and I have all the badges. I need to really, like, put them on something, but for now, that's the badge for this week, and it's like a um, Triforce shield with a Minecraft sword behind it, which is quite a cool collaboration. We've also got uh, Markiplier tats, which I'm assuming these are, like, press-on tattoo kind of things. Let's have a look. Uh, instructions. Skin should be clean. Remove clear protective top sheet. Press tattoo firmly on clean dry skin was designed facing down. So yeah, it's some kind of weird tattoo-y kind of uh, transfer stuff, which is strange. But I mean, things like this are really good to put into like Reddit gift exchanges and stuff. Just random stuff that, that you wouldn't really expect to see. Um, kind of works quite nicely. Stickers from the YouTube sensation Captain Sparkles. Uh, we've got a uh, kind of creeper face with uh, with Captain Sparkles with a sword of some description. Uh, I don't follow his his series is 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 is, so I couldn't tell you who any of the other characters are. But again, nice little uh, nice little treat there for anybody who's a big fan. We've got another key ring, a second key ring, uh, which is quite it's actually quite cool. That's quite cool. Uh, it says it's dangerous to go alone. Take this, and it's a bottle opener uh, key ring. <laughs> Which, um, yeah, not sure how many people who who get loot crate are in the need of uh, of, of an of alcoholic beverages, but that's fine. Uh, I think I prefer the the Minecraft pick one personally, but that's just me. That's just me. Uh, we've also got oh wow, look how old school this is. Uh, it's uh, an actual physical media. It's a physical. Isn't that weird? What's a CD? I don't know. No idea. That's. that's um... That's weird. So it's by Maker. Look, uh, good old Maker. I'm part of them, so that's that's fine. <laughs> the Friend Zone soundtrack. Watch Fridays, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. PST. Uh, so there you go. Big shout out to those guys, whoever they are. I don't really keep up with with these newfangled YouTubers. I probably should really, um, but uh, but yeah. There's a. Oh wow! I've got a card to show that I am a loot looter. Uh, which is just weird. Just a little card with my looter number on there. Um, thanks, thanks, Loot Crate. That's weird. I don't, I don't understand what the hell that was about. Uh, and then finally, it looks like we have a curator sticker set for Polaris and Maker, uh, which is quite cool because I'm actually I am a member of RPM Network, which is a subsidiary. Of Maker, uh, so I now have a sticker of the of the company that I'm with, and then we have a weird anime bird, and I think that's a Captain Sparkles you do Billy do, and then there's just some some other weird YouTuber stuff. Very strange. And there's no book this time as well, uh, which I kind of don't care about the book as much. I did read an email saying that they were going to release it by uh, digital. This month, I think they couldn't get it printed in time, and uh, next month is going to be, I think, physical and digital. Although I think, to be perfectly honest with you, if it meant that I could get a little bit more stuff, I would much prefer it to be just done digitally and not not printed physically at all, because I have no no need for it. Um, but anyway, I think this box would have been a bit of a letdown had it not have been for the shirt. Um, but the shirt makes up for it because I'm a huge fan of Zelda and I think that's worked out really well. Uh, the keyring as well, very cool. This one, not so much. Um, and then the, the tin, obviously. Very sadly, we have a broken, uh, broken figure. <laughs> but never mind. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed today's Loot Crate unboxing. Don't forget, there is always a link in the description. That helps me out and helps you out as well by using the code and clicking the link. You get a little discount to your subscription. So uh, you can't say fairer than that if you're thinking about trying out Loot Crate. But until next time, I have been Kev of the Cafcast. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, guys. You've been watching the Cafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget get to check out all of our other videos